power of Holy Ghost. Move, 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 move upon your people. Move upon your people, my God, my God and my Father, in the name of Jesus. I know some somebody, I see somebody who has given up. He has been crying. He's a man. He's, 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 he's calling all the names. He feels like he's not a man. He, he, he sees himself like he's not a, a man. Even, even, he, even, he, was, even he, he feels like he, he can even commit suicide. I have good news for you. God sent me to you tonight. There is hope for you. If you know you are that man, call me. This is our number. Six four seven six zero eight five two zero seven. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. This is the number, our number is is six four seven six zero eight five two zero seven. Call me to this number. I want to pray with you because this is a message from God. You have not done anything wrong. It's about the enemy. He's the one who's frustrating you until you feel like you are not a, you are not a man anymore. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Ah, let me go to the topic you are going to talk to tonight. It's called Deliverance Prayer to Stop the Circle of Failure. Deliverance Prayer to Stop the Circle of Failure. Deliverance Prayer to Stop the Circle of Failure. You need to stop this circle of failure. Fearing is not your portion. Fear is not a vocabulary of God. Fear is, is, a, is from the devil. Remember the Bible says, you are the head, you are not the tail. So when you fail, that is not the end of your life. Many people, they feel like they have no hope like this man, the Lord is, God is talking about. You feel like you are hopeless. You have nothing. You, you, give your, you give up everything. You feel like you have lost completely. You have nowhere. Because everything you are doing is not working for you. You are trying to do things, but it's not working for you. So, you, it is you to stop this. Let us look from the book of uh, Michael. Michael 3, Michael 7, verse 8 to 10. He's a prophet of God. Michael is the prophet of God. This is what the Bible says. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Do not rejoice against me, O oh my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a right unto me. I will repair the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. 
until he bleed my cause and execute judgment for me. He would bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. This is what the prophet Michael Mike saying. The prophet is saying, you enemy don't rejoice because I'm falling. You have to tell the enemy, don't rejoice to me. You have to point the enemy with your finger. You tell the enemy, you enemy, you are the cause of me failing. But my fail, it is because I've sinned. You know, when you start complaining, crying, calling your name, feeling bitter, that is, you sin. That's sin. Crying is not helping. Feeling bitter is not helping. Now, this man, the prophet, Mike, he said, Oh, my enemy, when I fall, I shall rise. If you fall, you shall rise up again. You are not going to stay there. That's why you need to stop that failure. If you try to, to submit your resume, they didn't call you. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Hello, hello to you. <laughs> yes, my dear. Yeah. Maybe you've been studying a project. The project is not doing anything. You have tried this and this. You feel like you are failing. You have not failed. If you hear the history of people, like this man called Ford, the owner of Ford car, the way he started this business, he, he, he tried so many, 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 many times. I was reading a book, a person who was writing a book for, for children. He tried so many times, but at the end, he win. So don't fail. You have to stop this failure. Don't call yourself a failure. Don't call even your child is a failure. You are not for this a failure. It's the power of the devil, the, the, the enemy. The enemy is the one who wants you to fail. But God is not... It's, it doesn't want you to fail. God has said you are the head, not the tail. So stop negativity. Stop this circle of failure. You have power to stop it. My God, I want to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, the Bible says. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until I plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He would bring me forth to the light and I shall hold his righteousness. So the Lord, he would help you. God wants you to succeed god is looking for you to see what action are you are you taking our god he loves us he wants to see you being doing good he doesn't see you failing he doesn't see you going circle circle round 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 he doesn't want you to be like that it's the enemy who wants you to go round round and you can stop this. It is your power to refuse 
You said enough is enough. I have to sit down and, and think and see why. Why is these things is happening to me like this? Through the help of God, through the help of the Holy Spirit, God will help you. Look at the book of Deuteronomy 31, 6 to 8. The book of Deuteronomy 31, 6 to 8. The Bible says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid of terrible at them. Do not be afraid of trembled at them. For the Lord your God, he is one who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not be discouraged. What you are going through, do not be discouraged. The Lord Almighty, he will not let you to fail. God can never let you to fail. Then Moses called to Joshua and said to him, In the sight of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you shall go with these people into the land which the Lord has swear to their, to their fathers to give them, and you shall give it to them as an inheritance. The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or dismay. Yes, do not fear or dismay. The Lord is with you. The Lord will go with you anywhere. So when you are trying to do this, you are not succeeding, don't give up. You continue. When you circle the place, you circle the place, you circle the place, don't give up. You have to stop this. You have to command these enemies that make you to fail, to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You have to rebuke them. You have to curse them. Because God has given us authority and power. The power is on your tongue. You have authority. You have to command the spirit of failure to get out of your life. You have to stand firm and trust yourself. Know who you are to Christ. You are a child of God. The child of God is not to, is, you, are not a, you cannot fail. If the child of the devil is the one who makes you to fail, and is it's just the child of the devil, is not the child of God, and you, you are the child of, the, of God, for example, you are the child of the king and a servant or a helper. Who has power? Is it the servant or the helper? You have the power because you are the child of the king. You are the child of the father, our God. So you have the devil, Satan. He has power to those people who does not know him. But you know him that is a liar, is the devil, and is, is, is behind your problem. So because he's behind your problem, you stand firm and refuse. You have to stop going circle, circle, circle. You have been going circle for too long. So it is your time to turn back and say, no, I'm not going to continue this way. I have stopped this. I have to stop this. And you call upon the Lord, the God of Elijah. And then the God of Elijah will appear with fire and destroy the enemy. Stagnance. That make you that you cannot move forward. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to pray that God... Who, that God will help you. That God will deliver you from the power of stagnance, from the power that make you to, to go round, to stop this circle of going round, 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 to stop the circle of failure in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Every power prolonging stagnancy in your life, prolonging a prolonging problem in your life, I command them to die. Some 
something which takes you like one day, two days, it makes you to it will take you even one month. That's why you have to pray very hard. I know it is sometimes it's difficult, but you have to persist in resist the devil, the devil will run away. That's what the Bible says. You 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 sometimes you feel discouraged, you want to give up. Don't give up. Sometimes you, you feel you are so down, you are so low, you don't, you don't even want to open your mouth to pray. That is the time you need to, to shout. Even if you are so tired, you don't know what to say, what to pray. Just go, hallelujah, Father, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Then call somebody who can I help you to approach to you. Don't sit down and start crying and start be, becoming bitter, start complaining. When you feel like you can't even pronounce a word from your mouth, take a phone or go to our website, go to our videos, just listen to the videos. Even me sometimes, you, you know we are a human being. The enemy knows our weakness. Sometimes you can feel like you, you, can, you don't know what to say. But the Holy Spirit, God Almighty, will never forsake you or fail you. He will give you a word. He will give you help. He will give you support when you trust in him, when you turn to him. But when you turn to cry and become bitter, you start complaining, you say, I'm tired, I've been praying very hard, nothing is happening, you, you make the enemy to feel very happy. So you, you, you have to know that this is the time when you feel like you're down completely, you don't know what to do. If you have no friend, you have no uh, anybody to call, Go to our website www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. You will find the videos that will help you. Or you can call me. Our number is 647-608-5207. I will help you. Some people, they call me when they cry, even I, I can't hear what they are saying. I listen, I give them chance to cry, cry after finishing, and then I ask them, can I talk to you now? They say, yes. They can't talk because they feel bad. They, they have been trying, nothing is working, they have lost everything. So this problem that is costing you this pain, let them die. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power prolonging poverty, uh, poverty in your life. Let them be furnished. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray every situation you are facing now that make you to cry, that make you to, to feel bad about yourself. Let this problem be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power wants to waste you, wants to waste your destiny, wants to waste your time. Let this power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You know there is power. Just want to waste your time. Years and years. It is going circle. circle. This is the power that we need to stop. I pray that God Almighty to stop these demons that make you, you can't move, you can't go anywhere. You are the same. Every year nothing is changing from you. I pray by the power that created heaven and earth to destroy those powers that are wasting your time, wasting your destiny, wasting your career. You finished college a long time ago, but you have not got what exactly what you went to school. You are doing something else. That is a lie. Every power wasting your time, wasting your career, let them be wasted. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let those power be wasted themselves and wasted in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, sometimes you can dream like you are in the vehicle and no driver. Maybe the vehicle does not have steering, but you are in the vehicle. That is the spirit of stagnancy. That is the spirit of backwardness. So when you see something like that, when you have seen the dreams like that, command that dream to that car to cut that vehicle to catch fire and burn to ashes. Pray I'm moving forward. Whether the devil you like it or not, 
I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I'm moving forward. So you can say, I am moving forward. No matter what it will take in the name of Jesus. Turn, turn negative to positive. Even if you see you have nothing in your pocket, say, I am rich. Jesus Christ died poor so that I can be rich. I am destroying you with the spirit of poverty. I am destroying you completely. I expecting money, money to rain from heaven. Just be positive. Don't be negative. You have to stop sack of failure through positive, not negative. Sometimes children can make you sad. Children can make you miserable, your own children. Sometimes your husband, your wife, sometimes at work. So you feel like you are not going back tomorrow. You feel really very, very, very bad. That's the work of the enemy. They want you to, to sin. They want you to enter into sin. After getting, you enter into sin by complaining. And then the devil is waiting to come because he, he claims that you, you are his house. You are, he calls you that you are his house. That I will return to my house where I came from. He's waiting to you to start complaining, to start become bitter. And then he will jump in. By the time you, you send that demon out, he has invited more dangerous, more strong than the one which, is, is, which was there. And then your situation will be coming worse. Therefore, I am praying that God Almighty will destroy every power that is wasting your time, that is wasting your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. May the power to find you, to find you pairing in the channel of life come, come, come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come upon your, your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God would deliver you. God would deliver you and move you forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Powers of stagnation, powers of failure, it's not your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy them. Yes, God, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You are so good, God. I want to thank you, God. I give you all the glory, Jesus. I give honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray every desert arrow fired against you. I destroy them. I command them to go back to the sender. You, you know, you, you can return back to the sender. Everything the enemy is doing to you, return them to the sender. You should learn how to turn the every situation, even poverty, anything that is working against you, send them back to the sender. Command them, I send you, call that problem by name and tell that problem, you, this problem, even sickness, I am sending you back to the sender. Go where you came from. Or tell that problem, let, get out and go where Jesus wants you to go. You know, we were told in the book of Mark, Mark 5, there was this man who was having a very aggressive demons. And then these demons, this man, when he saw Jesus, his madness clear. And he started talking with Jesus as if there is nothing. And then Jesus commanded the demons which was in him. He told those demons to get out of the man. And the demon went straight to the pigs. And the pigs went straight to the, to the lake. And they drowned there and all of them died. That's why you have to command those demons, wherever they are, to get out and out from your life and let them go and wherever Jesus wants them to go. Or they can go back where they come from. Because you don't, they don't, they are, they, you, you, don't, you, you are not the one who brought them. So they have to go wherever they want to go. Jesus did good. He sent them, he sent them to, the, to the lake, to the sea, and they died there. So that they don't go to uh, enter to anybody. 
The Bible says they, they were drawn. So we don't know what, where the demon went, whether they died or what it is. But the Bible says they, they were drawn and then the beaks died there. So I, I don't know what happened from there. Because Jesus didn't want this demon to go anywhere. And the man was set free. It is the same thing. That the power, this power of, 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 of circle. Feria. You have to have a war against them. It has made many people, many business, many jobs, people of the ferry. That's why you need to have a war against them. To stop them completely, you call by the name. You call them by the name. Anything you are doing that you are not succeeding, you are not going anywhere, call that thing by name. If it's financial failure, you command them, you finance, you money. Hear the word of God. My father is the owner of silver and gold. Therefore, I command you, wherever you are, to start coming to me. You strength your hand, you call money, and the money will come by faith, by thunder. That's how you stop the, 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 the sack of fairy. Because when the enemy is attacking your source of, of income, that's the enemy, it's not God. He would attack seriously. He, I prayed for a man, he's an engineer. He has been here in Canada for five years. No job. He was working in the factory, an engineer. And, and also in the factory he was fired. So he didn't have a job. He didn't have anything. Now, this man, I told him, you see, this is the work of the enemy. We have to stop him. We have to command him to get out of your life and, and go. I just pray for him, just one prayer point. And the man submitted this resume. He was called to job. He got the job and he's paid good, 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 good. So that is how it is. Instead of complaining, crying, calling your name, feeling bad for yourself, no. Call that name, call that enemy by the name and command it to go. If you don't know the name, you command you evil spirit, you powers of darkness, wherever you are in my life, I command you to get out of my life and out in the name of Jesus. They have to pay and go. You have to know how to fight the sack of failure because it's not from God, it's from the enemy. Yes, God. Father, I want to thank you for your people. I pray that God, my God, bless them, God. Let your blessings fall upon them. Anyone who is struggling, who is battling, who is working so hard, but he has not achieved anything, Father, have mass upon them. Let your blessings fall upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I want to honor you, God. I want to glorify your name. I lifted up your name, God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I want to thank you, Jesus. My God and my Father, I pray that God, you will deliver your people from, from the spirit of failure. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they, they are the head, not the tail. The tail belongs to the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, open doors, open windows for your people. Those people who are looking for the job, God, give them a job. Those people who have their man has been attacked, God, I destroy the enemy. I command you, enemy, that is attacking the sources of income of this person. I destroy you. I bind you. I curse you. I command you to get out of this person in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your financial breakthrough. Those people are struggling for finances. I pray your finances. I pray for financial breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. If you are looking for the fruit of the womb. You know there is no barren woman or animals, anything. God never created like that. It is the enemy that is that is all in your womb. I pray that let your womb open. 
and conceive and receive the baby in Jesus' name. If you are looking for a partner, you are looking for a wife, you are looking for a husband, I am now praying by the power and the blood of Jesus. Lord, connect them speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, connect them speedily, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, our number is 647-608-5207. Or you can reach us 905-487-7196. Call us that this number, it can reach us. I am praying for you right now. Sickness and diseases, I curse you. I command you to get out of this person. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break you into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curses, every curse. Witchcraft curses, witchcraft materials, witchcraft curses upon your life, upon you and your children. I curse them. I curse them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for restoration of your marriage. Restoration of marriage. Separation that the enemy has brought into your house, in your, uh, your family. I destroy them. I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I curse every work of the enemy that is working against you and your family in Jesus' name. I pray restoration. Restor restoration your marriage. The enemy is as, as attacking your, your marriage. I command the spirit the husband to leave this marriage. Spirit wife, leave this marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy you. I curse you. I command you to get out in the name of Jesus. I break every powers of darkness that is working against this person. Yes, Lord. I am praying that those who are looking for partners, you are looking for a husband, you are looking for a wife, I, I am praying that God will speedily connect you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is not God himself is the one who created two two. He said it's not good for a man to live alone. Therefore, I call upon your partner to appear speedily in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, my brother, I am calling for you, a wife. Your wife will reappear soon in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your wife appear. Let your wife appear. The wife who loves you will take care of you. No divorce. Once you get this wife, that is it. The wife that you have been looking 56 years is coming. If it is a sister who is looking for a husband, your husband is coming speedily. I believe God that the spirit, the husband that has been sitting on you, sleeping on you, by the way, it is a python. Some people, some, some, some of the sisters, I see python in the bed sleeping there. In a spirit you don't, you don't see. This, the python that is sleeping on your bed, I command the fire of God to kill that python. That serpent sleeping on your bed, let them die in the name of Jesus. They marry you and you have no idea. That's why you can't have anybody. When you get someone, they, 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 they are very angry. They don't want. They don't want anybody. I am commanding you, anybody who is married by serpent. Maybe you see a lot of snakes when you, you close your eyes or you dream a lot of snakes. You are the one, you know yourself. Call me. I will pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes. The number is 647-608-5207. If you are the one who sees a lot of snakes while you are sleeping, or you dream a lot of snakes, you are married by snake. You are married by a biton. That's why you can't have any, anything. Call this number, 647-608-5207. I will destroy them. God has given me authority and power. I am commanding them by the power in the blood of Jesus to die. Let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Children who are rebellious with their parents, they don't want to hear anything. What the parents, they don't want to talk with their parents. I am praying that God, 
will touch them and they will start speaking. Even grandmother. I call upon the, the fire of God to destroy the spirit of rebellious, the spirit of rebellion against your children. Let them let the fire, let the life fire consume them and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. These children, it's not them, it is the enemy that wants to frustrate you to feel bad. You feel like you are so rejected. That's why you must be angry in your spirit and refuse and call fire to destroy them. Destroy the spirit behind your children. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that those children that have run away from their parents, they don't want to talk to their parents. Lord, my Father, I pray restoration. I pray that God touch them. Touch them, God connect them again, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I bless your name. I pray that God, thank you for your for these children, God. Thank you for these people, God. Thank you for the youths that have run away. And not my father, they have left their home. But I thank you that, God, you are going to bring them back. You are going to bring restoration back to the, the, the family, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me this. I'm going to pray for the children. Some of the children, like here in Canada, they are opening school. I don't know other countries, but children are going back to school. I am praying for them by the power in the blood of Jesus. I pray for the children as they are going back to school. God, I pray divine protection protect them and I pray for them God and, and I pray for evil people and around them sickness and diseases God let them go away from their life from their midst in Jesus name even the parents who are struggling for their children to get school fees uniform books God provide provide my father I am praying for those kids children from single mothers children from children who are orphans this time they feel bad because they want to, they feel like I wish my parents can be around or I wish I can have a father or a mother. I wish this. I pray for them, God, my father, you know them. I pray that God Almighty protect them, provide their needs, my father. I pray that let these children, God, give them wisdom, knowledge, and excellence, and excellence, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God protect them. I pray for every child, youths, school children, college, universities, all the children, everyone that is going back to school, I'm praying for them. I pray that God will protect them. God will protect them, God my Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord my Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these children. Protect them, God, divine protection. Protect them, God my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God. Yes, Lord, I thank you. Yes, I am praying for the people who are looking for jobs. I am praying for you. If you are looking for a job, I am praying that God would give you a job. He would locate you a place where you are going to get a job and they are going to hire you. If you need a job, call me. I hear the Spirit of God is reminding me, is asking me the second time to pray for the people who are looking for the job. If you are looking for a job, call me. My number is 647-608-5207. Call me immediately when we finish the prayer. I will pray because the Holy Spirit is moving. We want to do things when the Holy Spirit is still moving. I thank God for your life. Thank you so much. I have to stop here. This is your host, Prophetess. Dr. Christine is saying bye-bye to you. Bye. Bye. I love you so much. And there's nothing I can do about it. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow midnight. God bless you. Bye. Thank you. Good night to you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.